behind me is the clock. I've got 5 minutes 31 seconds to start. So I'll start up with my no possible play yield all. Okay, I don't have any black mana, but I also don't have any black spells. So I will keep this. I've got a quality removal spell and two good morphs. I'll start with the war behemoth and try to keep the loxodon alive. Okay. Okay, I've got uh, two good removal spells now, which is nice. Right, so my opponent has all the mana he wants, as far as colors go. And the blade. Man, that blade is good. Okay. Not a whole lot going there. War Chief will hopefully be able to activate the raid, but if not, that's not the end of the world. If he plays a morph here, I'll probably just answer with a morph. 2-1? Okay. Well, I don't mind trading a 2-1 with a morph. He will probably just suit up, and then I am um, possibly able to uh, kill shot. Yeah, I think that that might be how this plays out. could also suspension field it. And that's not a terrible creature to suspension field. It'd get pretty ugly if he decides to outlast that debilitating injury. Man, that card's good. Okay. So he'll get me for two. Not the end of the world. There we go. Alright, I've got all my colors. Right, so now we're just waiting until we hit six mana to flip that up. I've already got four. The fifth one in hand, so we just need to draw one more. Okay, so he's probably going to equip Swing here. Mardu Charm, huh? Okay. Well, he's got plenty of removal. Took out my King of the Morphs. I do still have one creature left. It's not a creature I really want to play next since I won't be able to raid, so I'll probably just leave up Kill Shot. Alright, send it over his way with an F6. If I don't draw any creatures, I might play the Horde Chief just to have something down. I am glad that I decided not to put in the incremental growth, because this game would have been absolutely awful with it. Alright, so he's still got four cards left. Let's see how many of those are creatures. Uh-oh, he's got an answer for kill shot. Is he going to feet? He does feet. Wah, 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 wah. I don't think... No. There's nothing I could do about that there. It's toughness 3 or greater, right? Yeah. So that can't do anything. Okay, I do get Watcher, so that's going to help me get back in the game a little bit. I'll do it like that. I have Feet of Resistance to hit it with, so I can block and Feet, giving it pro white. And we should be good there. Now if he equips it, it'll be a, what, 5-4? So giving that plus one, plus one wouldn't actually kill it. Although it would set me up to be able to Suspension Field at the next turn. So we should be good either way. So he's at 22 life, and I'm at 4 minutes. You know, if I could switch positions, I'd probably decide to be him, but I can fight this out. Alright, coming in. I assume. Alright, so he goes to combat, but he's thinking about it. Okay. We're blocked. He doesn't really need any tricks, so I'm going to be forced to act. I reveal this white card. And then I'm going to feed it. And give him pro-white. Okay, so I should be up to 15 life and 3 minutes and 43 seconds. 
So he can first strike me all he wants, but I've got pro white. So if I clear that, I've got him, let's see, uh, three, so I've got him on a seven turn clock, approximately. I also get to Horde Chief off of this next swing. But he does have a follow-up play, which is Bitter Revelation. Okay. Well, that's going to give him plenty of gas. It's not something that deals with my flyer, so I guess I'm, I feel mediumly about the Bitter Revelation. It doesn't really... Uh, make me happy that he's got two quality cards in his hand that could possibly deal with the Watcher of the Roost. As far as time goes, though, he's actually starting to tick down. I still would prefer to have his clock, but he's just about on five minutes. So, we're uh, starting to deal in time as well as life totals. Although I still think the thing that would kill me is time, and the thing that would kill him is life at this point. He has got to have some super interesting decision to make here, taking up all this time on the Bitter Revelation. All right, so now we are less than a minute apart. I hope that I have not frozen, because if my client is frozen, then I am just going to lose due to time sitting here. And I've got so little time on the clock that I don't really want to restart Moto just to see if I have frozen up, because then by the time that I get it back up, he'll have passed the turn. Okay, here we go. Starting to get some action. Doesn't want the planes or the Bloodfire expert. There we go. I wonder why that was such an interesting decision on his part. Anyway, he's starting to click down all the way to where I am. Okay. So we get a forest. We'll send through. Kick raid and pass the turn. For fun and profit. Okay. So we've got a suspension field in case he plays anything amazing. And I've got three, four, five, six power on the board. So his life is actually a factor now. now. I know he's got something to gum up the ground. There's no way he's got six cards in hand after a bit of revelation doesn't have something. Especially after he passed the 3-1. And he knew about the Horde Chief. I didn't want to show my suspension field. All right, he is in the tank. I just have to assume at this point that he is not watching his clock. All right, he's got a morph does not have the mana to do anything other than equip the morph, so I assume that that's what he's going to do. And I am not going to suicide attack just for one more point. Can't suspension field it and swing through, though, so I'm going to get my 6 through with the suspension field here. That'll put him down to 11, which will put him on a 4 turn clock as far as the flyer goes. Okay, this is reasonable. I'd like to draw some gas here up against his five cards. Not gas. Okay. So we'll field this guy. Yes, please. Send the team. All right, his go. I'm not yet to the point where I need to F6. Give away that I have nothing. Uh-oh. Helmmaster. <laughs> okay, so he's just going to 7 me here. Um, if I 6 him again, then he gets to 7 me again. Uh, I should probably leave that warrior back, right? Okay. So we'll do that. Uh, if he manages to kill my warrior, then I'm just dead. But he does have a nine point Hellmaster coming at me. Feet of resistance. Well, I couldn't have done it anyway, so I assume it's gonna call white. Yeah, oh well. That's probably what he was in the tank on. Yeah, pro white. Well, that can't block it, so I will just die. Okay, well, I lost that first match, but don't leave. Don't leave, guys. Don't worry about it. Uh, this is uh, Swiss, so I can still get a couple wins in there, and I'll find my way from the ground up. So I will see you in a little bit for round two and game one. And if you don't want to stick around for the rest of the matches, remember to skip to the end of the playlist. Much better material. All right, here we go. Round two, game one, and a quick mulligan.